right here in front of the house. The engine's facing that way. Normally it'll be facing the other direction. And uh, there'll be a small engine house right here. And so normally you'll come out of the engine house and then you come down this track here. It'll tie into the reverse track right there and uh, this little area all in here is like a little uh, like a little park it's called Haglin named after my grandfather he got me into the train Eddie Haglin anyway uh, coming uphill here so you'll come out of the yard and you'll come up the reverse track and meet the main line up here at Raven Junction So I gotta rebuild this little bent piece of track here. Anyway, from <clears throat> from here to my bridge is 120 feet. So once the tractor comes back and takes care of this, uh, it's a good 100 feet there. I'll, I'll be able to it'll be smooth sail and put the track back, put the track in. Right now it's just too steep. So this is the west end of the railroad. Now on this loop. And uh, the tractor guy came once, but it's the wrong grade and it's kind of over too far. I got to get it pushed out and graded correctly so it meets this bridge better. Once I'm out on the bridge, smooth sailing, I'm already, this is where the track's already been built. So you come out of here with your train and you'll be heading this direction. There's a caboose at Quail Valley. The caboose would be on the back. So Quail Valley is the lowest point in the railroad. It's 16 feet below the house up there. So we're uphill the whole way. And we are going past Lone Pine and past where we started on the reverse track there with number eight. Like I said, normally the engine will be facing the other direction. Once the loop's done on one end, I'll run the engine around and get it facing the other way. This will be the normal flow of traffic. I'm gonna go uphill most of the way. You hear that thing bark like a dirty dog. Anyway, it's 2% grade all the way up. So this curve, I got about, I don't know, around 50 feet in here needs to get reworked. But from here on out, everything's fine. Cash Creek, Dry Creek. It's not dry 98% of the time. It's the other. 2% of torrential rain that you got to worry about. Anyway, still climbing at 2% since Quail Valley back there. And we're coming up on Mountain View. See on across the summit. Here's my dog follow me. Anyway, this track's gotta get reworked. And uh, I just raised the bridge this morning, so I gotta kind of regrade and tie it, you know, put ties back and stuff. And uh, the bridge needs some tying together. I'm gonna have some steel beams going across crossways and welded in and bolted in there to hold stuff together so uh, there's about uh, 50 feet of track there too to rework to include that whole bridge project so all in all it's 220 feet left to finish this track 
and so it'd be all the way around for the first time. I had it almost done. I was up to 800 feet of track, but then ripped the bunch out to regrade. So right now we're we just run, went around the house. And if you look down here, there's the engine. That's where we started on that on that kind of mid level right there. There's the uh, reverse track. So we keep on going here, and then this will be the normal flow of direction. And when you're done for the night, you just come down here to Raven Junction, throw the switch behind you, and then back down, back into the yard, back into the engine house. Uh, so, like I said, this will be the normal flow of direction. And uh, that's pretty much it. Starting to get close, so building the track quicker than I normally do. And we're back here at Raven Junction. And that's it.